What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, by the title on the thumbnail, you're probably just, you know, this is something a little different, but basically me and Katie just rented a house and we have a little more space now and I've been wanting to do this for a long time. And I, cause I want a place to be able to practice putting consistently and be able to practice. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna build myself a little putting green and I'm gonna do it in my garage and it's gonna be mobile and uh, it's gonna be, I, what I have mapped out in my head is gonna be super easy. So basically, you know, this is part of, I'm just, something i wanted to do and i'm like hey i'm gonna make a video about it and show you guys how i do it and then you know what it ends up ends up turning out like so i'm currently in the garage where it's gonna be i'm gonna go over to home depot here in just a second but basically i have this space right here um katie's par car is always parked in the garage in my truck my truck will not fit in the garage so i'm gonna utilize this space the best way i know how and i'm gonna build me a putting green in here that i can just hit putts and get better okay because that's what that's just what i'm about all right i'm gonna get some supplies you guys are gonna see exactly what i get and how i do it so that you know if you want to do this at your house you can because it's going to be super easy and it's going to be super cheap too so great way to be able to practice and improve your game and be able to do it pretty much anywhere anytime you know so let's get right into the action here something a little bit different but you know it's just part of the process to Home Depot this is one of my favorite places on the planet but I'm gonna go we're gonna go through and get the things we need it's not very many and I'm gonna see how much it costs I do need a little extension cord all right so I'm actually gonna go with this it may be a little bit thick but I think it's gonna be fine for, uh, rolling the ball on especially for just practicing um, these are these are 21 bucks each so I'm gonna get one piece of plywood it's gonna be I need half inch just because I don't want it to I don't want it to flex at all and this is probably gonna be one of the more expensive things I think these are like 30 bucks each All right, so I got uh, five two by four by eight, and those are 350 each. So I don't know what we're up to, but it'll be on the screen. All right, one box of uh, just two inch two inch deck screws. That's all I need for that. So. Look at that! All that I'm gonna build a putting green for under 100 bucks, 81 dollars for all that stuff to build a really cool putting green. I can't wait for this to be awesome. I got all the supplies. We're back at the house. Obviously, got my stuff. Um, I laid the plywood there just to make sure it, if it's gonna move at all, it's just it stays nice and flat. That's a really important thing. And I'm also gonna lay this out on the concrete as well, just to see if I can get any kinks or wrinkles out. And then I'm gonna build the frame, and uh, you guys are gonna see that go up right here. So let's get into the action. I am super excited about this. I'm excited to see how it turns out. All right, so there's one very important factor in building a putting green, and uh, you might be thinking like to make sure it's level, to make sure it doesn't have bumps in it, or to make sure, you know, it's sitting on a flat surface. It's actually not that, it's actually just to have coffee. Um, so, so I got that, obviously it's very important. Now that I have that, I'm gonna build the base, the putting green laid out there. Getting baked a little bit, kind of getting it, getting it uh, flattened out. There's some creases in it, and we, don't, we obviously don't want those in there, so. The, the putting mat, it said it was eight foot, but it's actually only like 94 inches, so it's a couple inches shy. So I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut those and get the frame built up, and then you guys are basically just gonna see it in uh, kind of in uh, time lapse here. You know, I'm actually going just as quick as the time lapse is going. It's just, you know, he didn't actually speed this up, so just get ready. All right, so it's very important that uh, this is very stable. The platform is very stable. And that's why I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put multiple cross beams in here for this plywood to sit on because I don't want any flex in that, in that platform when I'm standing on it in any way, shape, or form. So I'm gonna probably put these every, depending on, I think I have another two inch. I'll probably put them like every 15 to, every 20 inches maybe. I gotta do the math here.
and like I said, that was it was not fast forwarded or anything. Like that's just how fast I work. It's you know the time lapse wasn't going in or anything like that. So uh, I'm gonna slap the plywood on here, and then after that, I'm gonna staple the the turf on, and literally gonna be rocking and rolling. So. So got the got the platform cut here. There's something that I want to kind of think of, think through here. I don't know what the opinion will be on this, but I think I'm actually I don't think that I'm going to cut a hole in this. And the reason for that is this is more about me creating a very repetitive putting stroke. Um, I'm going to be using my ruler on this, so I'm going to know, you know, I'm going to be able to see what's happening and why it's happening. And the reason I'm not going to put a hole in it is because I think that it'll just create sometimes when there's a when there's a golf hole there and if I'm not, you know, consciously trying to make those putts and they're missing, that's just my subconscious mind like seeing putts miss the hole while I'm practicing and that's completely unnecessary. So I think that's that's kind of my reasoning behind it. There's probably some different opinions on that, but this is just I'm doing what I feel is going to work for me. So, I'm going to get this thing locked down and then kind of be ready for the carpet. And I tell you, that's going to look good. The platform is done and completed. I'm basically, I like to have things clean. So I'm gonna uh, stand this up and sweep everything out and just get all this sawdust out of here. And then I'm gonna go on to the last step, which is applying my uh, carpet that is flipped over and my wrinkles are now staying wrinkled. So I'm gonna deal with that, but we'll be back in just a second. Boom, just like that, um, got everything cleaned out, swept out, swept off the platform. And now comes the fun part, I am ready to apply the goods onto here. And basically what I'm gonna do is, I already had this, but if you have to buy these, they're like 10 bucks. I'm just gonna use this stapler right here and use some half inch staples and uh, just work this thing around, make sure it's really tight and then just staple all of the edges. And this lip right here, I'm gonna you know cover this in carpet, but I put that there just so, you know, balls are not rolling off the edge there because that would just be really annoying but uh i got some ideas for this thing i'm gonna get a laser i'm gonna get you know there's just all kind of things that i feel like i can do here to really really improve my putting and stay consistent with practice you know because i can come out here at night you know in the morning when i'm drinking coffee just it's just it's a great idea all right so the good the fun part has begun obviously you can see you got the carpet on there and i'm using these little staples I'm going to work my way along this edge because there's going to be something that covers this. Uh, but this is just to make sure it stays square for me. All right. The platform is stapled up. I am going to take a, sh uh, a sharp edge here and I am going to clean all this up, finish taping it up. When I pop back on the screen, I'm gonna be ready to roll my first putt and we're gonna wrap this thing up. And boy, I tell you, this is gonna be fun. Just stay tuned for just a second. And just like this, we have went from having some two by fours, some carpet and some random stuff to now having a uh, putting platform. And you can see right here, this little edge on it so the balls can just stop there. Um, and I covered it in, in carpet so it looks really clean. But I mean, I tell you, this this turned out absolutely fantastic. Folded those corners around. Dude, I am so excited for this. I mean, it just turned out absolutely awesome. It was even better than, better than I had pictured in my mind. I'm pretty proud of myself right now. This looks awesome. All right, this is the first roll on my, uh, on my new putting ring here. Rolls nice and true. This is awesome. Well guys, there you have it. Start to finish, I built a putting green in my garage. From what you guys saw, all of that right there, that platform costs $84 to build that. For under 100 bucks, you can build yourself a really, really solid, sturdy platform to putt on. I didn't do this just for a video. I did it because I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna use it to get better. But I hope you guys enjoyed this and maybe maybe this will inspire you to go build one yourself. I'm super excited about this and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Almost to 200K, 
I'm literally just about to just climb over that hump and it feels good. Thank you for all the recent support on the videos. It's been awesome. Um, I will see you guys in the next video coming up pretty soon. Thanks for tuning in. Love you guys. Peace.